Yo, yo, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Health Bot Z, and this is Roy. You guys are watching another uh, gameplay of uh, Dragon Ball Z's Universe 2. Why? Because this is Health Bot Z, guys. You guys are going to be getting health, you guys are going to be getting fitness, you guys are going to be getting Dragon Ball Z. That's what we're here for. So, um, for this video today, uh, this is going to be my second video I'm posting up. Um, I'm going to show you a secret, like a hidden secret that I used um, during my first stages of losing my weight. And uh, getting to my, you know, body fat percentage and the size and physique that I wanted. So, um, I don't so much go off of this verbatim, uh, but I, I do kind of generally um, base my uh, eating, um, you know, my meal plan and everything off of this. Because, you know, it's so integrated in my um, everyday eating habits. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me jump right into it, guys. Uh, I'm on an empty stomach. I do do a bit of intermediate fasting, and I'll get into that in another video. So I do want to get my meal in uh, right after this video. So generally, how it works is, um, as you guys know or may not know, uh, from my understanding, you break. Uh, you generally want to break down your what you should eat down to three things. Uh, you know, your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. As, as you uh, may have been told and uh, if you want to break it down to calorie uh, every carb is four calories every um, so every gram of, of carb right is four calories every gram of protein is four calories and uh, every gram of fat is nine calories so they say the average person should be taking like 1800 to 2000 calories a day or something like that uh at least here in canada or, or maybe that's generally what, what they say for people but um i think i think uh, with this calculation you kind of get the idea why because i think they're just basing that off of the average weight and using this calculation i kind of saw where they got that number from so uh keep in mind being that carbs four calories proteins four calories and fat is nine calories uh per gram uh we want to now take your target weight. So not the weight that you weigh at, your target weight. So if you weigh 180, you want to get to 160. Your target weight's 160. So you're going to take that number, times it by 10, and then times it by 12. Once you do that, you're going to take both of those numbers and kind of put them up. Uh, the first one on the left, put a little a hyphen, and then the next one on the right, if you're writing this down to track it. So that is going to be generally your daily intake of how much you should be uh, uh, eating to reach that level of you know um, weight or body fat percentage or whatever it is you're chasing. So keeping that in mind, now we're trying to figure out with the how much of that number right is um, supposed to be carbs, fat, and protein. What percentage? So that really comes down to one. Uh, how much you want to go off of what you should be eating at that, you know, to be at that body weight. But at the same time, you know, you can kind of mix it around with what uh, works for you. So what I have here is two options. Uh, one would be the 30, uh, 20, 50. And then there's a 20, 20, 60. Now the 30, 20, 50 would be 30% carbs, 20% fat, 50% protein uh, as the breakdown of that, that number. Uh, that range of numbers, sorry, and uh, the second option would be 20% carbs, 20% protein, and 60 uh, sorry, 20% carbs, 20% uh, fat, and 60% um, protein. Um, my mistake 6% fat is definitely not where you want to uh, be um, targeting for this, so don't do that. Uh, yeah, so now that we have um, those percentages. Uh, this is just the kind of the basic math. You grab a calculator, so you're going to take the, both numbers individually, right? Take the first one on the left, and then if you're going for option one, you're going to times that number by 0 0.30, and uh, that will be the uh, number that, uh, or that's the amount, calorie amount that you should be taking in regards to carbs. And um, you do that the 20% with the fat, you get that number, and then so on with the protein at 50%, 0 0.50, and uh, you should get that amount of calories per uh, category. Now, if you're using the other option, the 20, 20, 60, you'll just do the same calculations just based off of that number. So, um, carrying on from there, we know how much uh, calories per protein, fat, and carbs are supposed to be intaking. But, you know, when you check the food facts or whatnot, you see grams. You don't see calories. 
you see how much calories you can intake, you know, per serving or whatnot, but not specifically breaking it down. So it will be very difficult to track this without some sort of system. But uh, this third step, which I will, you know, uh, break it down to the grams, is just simply dividing it now by that number. So you take that number, and in the in the carbs and proteins case, you're gonna divide it by four. Uh, as it's four calories, right, uh, per protein and carb, and you should get the amount of carb and protein you should be intaking per day. Same with the fats, but this time you'll be dividing by nine, as um, there's more uh, calories in fat than there is protein and uh, carbs. I don't know that much uh, into it, guys. I just I just know that. <laughs> so um, that's generally how you do it. I do have a summative here to kind of run through uh, what it is and I will be um, adding this on the you know screen hopefully if I could get that going I'm really new with the editing system so if I could get that going to show you guys you know physically what it looks like uh, then that that'd be even better so I'm gonna get to editing once I'm finished recording the video uh, to, to add to that guys uh, do note don't I'm not a doctor uh, this was research I've done in the past um, as I noticed when I times my number around, around 175, 180-ish, it was around 2,000 calories, like 17 something to 2,100. So, uh, and, and I'm assuming, I don't know what the average body weight is, unfortunately, I should have got that information, I apologize, but uh, I'm assuming that's why they got the 2,000 number, because it always generally seems to be around that. It's never been too low or too high from it. And if you're bulking, from my understanding, guys, you can still use this calculation. You just have to, you know, alter it, and uh, obviously you'll be intaking more. So uh, instead of going to, if you're 180 and you're going to uh, target 160, you're 180 trying to target 200. So uh, you're going to, you know, just times it by that number, run through the same calculations. Uh, you will be intaking more carbs, from my understanding, a lot more protein, I would say. Uh, so you're gonna have a bulkier, um, bulkier numbers. So uh, keep that in mind for people try bulking. But do note that as I told you, I'm not really that specialized in that. So uh, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. And uh, I, I want to see if I had an additional option, guys. Uh, no, so that that basically sums it up um, for that one. I did want to, you know, showcase a little bit of me whooping Vegeta's butt, but uh, just just to, to give it back to you guys one more time, you're gonna take the uh, target weight that you want to be at, and you're going to times that by 10, and then times that by 12. Once you have both of those numbers, you know, you set the uh, one times by 10 on the left, and on the on your piece of paper, of course, and on the right, you set the number times by 12. And uh, under there, what I would do is just kind of track down that. You know, carbs, protein, fat, a carb is 4 calories per uh, gram, protein is 4 calories per gram, fat is 9, cal uh, nine calories per gram. And um, the two options that I personally laid out, I would say do a little bit more research on what's comfortable for you and on your percentages. But I have the 30, 20, 50, that's the 30 percentage of carbs of that number, those numbers, 20% fat and 50% protein. And then there's the 20% carb is such a uh, second option with a uh, 20% fat and 60% protein instead. So those are the two options and uh, that I have that I would go by to break it down into the three categories. And um, further from that, uh, you start the calculation, of course. So you'll just uh, do the zero, you'll times the left and right number by zero point whichever the, the uh, percentage you're going off of, if it's the 30, 0 0.30, 50, 0 0.50, so on and so forth. And uh, once you have the uh, numbers broken down into uh, categories for the amount of calories you should be intaking uh, based off of those numbers, you then divide it by uh, whatever the, the calorie, um, it is based off of the carb, protein, and fat. So uh, as I mentioned, the carbon protein is four and the fat's nine, so you'll divide the number you have for carb by four, the number you have for protein by four, and the number you have for, for, uh, for fat by nine. And from there, you should have how much grams you should be intaking for those three categories. Now, um, initially, since you're going off of this, um, it's 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 almost like 
going right to the nitty gritty for what your body needs. Uh, you won't really be intaking more than what you want, um, but you always want to stay within these balances, right? Within the, the first and second number. And uh, maybe if you're really hungry, you know, and you notice you still have a surplus and you haven't hit that top number, you could go reach it, and that's a cool thing. And uh, I wouldn't really say you could have anything with that because I always say stay towards healthier stuff guys stick up stay away from sugar stay away from sugar stay away from pops the obvious stuff that they tell you sugar's poison it's literally poison you know you can have it here and there but like you should extend that here and there so far and about like you don't even want it that time that you want it kind of thing like you want to just kind of eradicate it from your diet altogether um I'll get more into that. There's just so much video and content that I want to release for you guys and I will be making. But uh, I'm starting off with this because once it's out, it's out and you know you guys can utilize it. So I'll finish the video at 11 minutes. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you enjoyed the first video and this video, you're going to enjoy the rest uh, heading onwards. So subscribe as I said once again and uh, like and share the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. This is Roy and this is HealthBot Z. I just whooped Vegeta's ass. Take it easy, guys.